Hello, my name is Kate and welcome to Habits of a Modern Hippie. It is, oh my goodness, one and two bark foxes today. And this giant dog you see down here, if you've been here before, you guys know that this is Miko and this is Tinkerbell, but this is Willie, who is my brother's dog. So today we have two bark boxes to open. And that's because the bark box just before this, if you haven't seen my last video, I just moved. And so I did a uh, empty house tour, but we're gonna go ahead and open both of these bark boxes today and see what's inside. We will start off with this month's. Uh, this is May, and then we'll work, work back to the April one. All right, do you wanna help? Here we go. So filming this with three dogs is going to be a little interesting. <laughs> hey, also as you can tell my background is a little different. It's gonna be super messy and right in front of my fireplace, but um, still trying to figure out where I'm gonna film in this place. So, Looks like there's lots of cacti going on. What is this? Wanted for the crime of, and then it's a blank. So this is the good, the bad, and the pugly. Saddle up, pup. We're hitting the trail with the good, the bad, and the pugly. This month's box is loaded with toys and treats for the quickest pause in the West. Yes, it says hashtag wild, wild wolf. That is adorable. Okay. Let us see what we have in here. We have Biff the Spiffy Buffalo. So I bet you, yeah, this is a squeaky toy. Willie's all about it. What do you think? So he is a buffalo and he's a Bark and Co. dog. Are you excited? Willie's 190 pounds, so the fact that he can like hide underneath the, oh! And Miko just took out the next toy and this is Rattlesnake Battlesnake, and this has a bunch of little squeakers in it. So, Willie, you, you gotta get out of here. You gotta sit down. Willie has never been on camera before, so this is gonna be <laughs> interesting. Oh my goodness. Sit, oh, good boy. Um, Willie is half Bull Mastiff, half Great Dane, so he's giant. Can you, can you sit down? All right, girls, give me on back. All right, going back in. And now we have treats in here. I don't think the treats are listed on the page, so we'll just see what they are. We have a butcher's block bones roasted beef steak. This is one of those ones that crumbles so you can feed it to multiple dogs. Miko is not happy with this whole sharing. Nope, nope, nope. Everything's hiding behind me. And then we have Yum Yum on the Range Tender Beef Dog Treats. So these are those. Tinkerbell, you're not even in the camera. Here you go. So let's open these up. And we'll peel one of these apart to see how they like it. We're gonna go in the order of age. So, Tinkerbell, what do you think? Uh, Willie is older than Miko. And then Miko. And now I'm covered in slobber. Great. Do, 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 do. Go back in the bag. Nope, can't have this. We're finished. Once again, hiding behind me. And last but not least in this May Cowboy box, we have Cowboy Cut Steak from Treat Simple. It is wheat-free, non-GMO, corn-free, and soy-free with no added salt, sugar, or preservatives. Let your pal saddle up their taste buds with these savory steak treats. Being a cut above the rest, every bite is baked with olive oil and rosemary. And the ingredients, they're literally five ingredients, and that is my favorite. They're all oat flour, barley flour, beef, olive oil, and rosemary, and that is it. These are my favorite kind of treats where there's nothing crappy in them. You don't have to worry about what you're feeding your dog. Nico obviously is very excited about them. Wait, I didn't rip it off all the way. Hold on. So, uh-uh, you wait. 
Good girl. We will try this one again. Okay, and Willie is super strange about dry treats, so we'll see if he'll eat these too. Tinkerbell's first. Good job, Willie. Willie likes to like hoard treats and then like run away with them. And then Miko. Good puppy dogs. Those seem to be a hit. All right. I think I'm going to see if I can turn this camera a little bit. Actually, all of these are going to go back in the box. But I'm going to see if we can turn the camera a little bit so Tinkerbell will be in the shot too. Okay, and bark box number two, <laughs> Miko's just climbing all over the place. Bark box number two. So Willie has decided that he no longer wants to open the box. He, uh, my brother, who is his Willie's dad, um, is downstairs. So that's probably what's going on. But bark box number two is April. Oh, nope, Willie's back. <laughs> Come here. I have never filmed with Willie before, this, so this is a little interesting. Uh-uh, come here. Sit. Sit down. Sit down. Good boy. All right. So we have level one and two over here. What is this box? We have New York City. Uh -uh. Take a big whiff of the Big Apple. This month we're heading to the city that never sleeps from Dollar Pizza. And good boy. To... From Dollar Pizza to Smelly Taxi Cabs, this month's Bark Box is a whirlwind New York tour through your dog's eyes and nose. If you get lost, don't forget to check your map or ask your dog. We hear they're pretty good navigators. Okay. So, first thing out, we have um, dumplings. Annie's favorite, Andy's favorite dumplings. I bet you, oh, oh my goodness, this is hysterical. Let's see if we can open this. This has Velcro on the top, and it's literally a squeaky dumpling on the inside of this box. Hi, Miko. So the dumpling squeaks, and it's a crinkle box. So when you chomp on it, it makes fun noises. Learning from the last box, these toys are going to go back in the box before they come out to play. Next, we have best treats ever. 98% of dogs agree, and the other 2% are dirty liars. This is healthy, soft treats for dogs. We are experts at making stuff pups rub. And the first ingredients here are duck and turkey. So we'll open these up, see what we think. Oh, so they're long strips. We will break them apart. Here you go, Tink. What do you think? And Miko. Oh, gross. And Willie, do you want this? Here you go. All right. Next, one of those things that we save until we get multiples of them. This is a butcher's block bones, six inch crunchy tube. It is a natural source of glucosamine and chondroitin. That's great for pups' joints. And then next we have some Rocco and Roxy. They are jerky sticks for dogs, lovely made in the USA. I love it when these are all made in the USA. I love sporting local business, things like that. And I know you guys can't see, open sesame but this little pole is in the shape of a dog bone and these are beef these are 20% minimum protein and American raised beef rice protein spices salt sugar garlic powder and wood smoke so we'll take one of these Ooh, like that. And we'll break up some. Oh, it's nice and pink in the middle as well. Miko, you're a little too big to be a parrot, sweet pea. Here you go, Will. You want some? Good boy. All right, and last but not least, 
We have Lady Liberty herself. This is called New York Collection Sightseeing. And it has one of those balls that on the inside, it's like, like pokey so they can grab onto it. What do you think? <laughs> you can't climb over me. But yes, so that in both of the bark boxes. I think they're both gonna love this. This will be perfect for the new backyard. Can you girls come back over here? Come on. Yeah, so if you guys want to get your own bark box and want a little bit of a discount, you can either go to barkbox.com slash tinkandmeek or use the code tinkandmeek in the bark shop and you'll get some little goodies going on. But thank you guys so much for watching. I know this is a little bit of a hectic video with an extra third dog and these dogs are a little jealous of having a third dog in here. But um, we hope you liked watching. If you haven't already, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. If you liked this video, give it a big thumbs up. And we will see you again soon. Thanks so much. Bye. Can you say goodbye? <laughs> Can you say goodbye? Oh, hello. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. Yeah. Okay.